I will try to make a quick or rather brief uh, interpretation of this tail horse and uh, there is no need to de deliver any prolonged and great speeches here. So in book Revelation, where are we? We are in Revelation chapter 6, verse 7. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that said on him was dead, and hell followed him with him, and power was given to them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword, with hunger, and with the dead, and with the beast of the earth. So, the most important thing first that we have to recognize is that this prophecy about pale horse describes the destructive works of armed forces, soldiers and men of war throughout the history, but particularly will be intensified and great during the Great Tribulation which I believe it will be <clears throat> at the very end of the world. Not any time soon. Uh, generally speaking, the horse symbolizes power and energy to do all kinds of works, including transportation of soldiers and war equipment. The rider on the green on a rider on the pale horse is of course Satan, devil, who represents death and the time when the armed forces will perform greatest destruction will be during the Great Tribulation, which I believe is described in Revelation 9, 15, verse 15 to 19. And now the very important thing, uh, point is to make is that the word pale, pale horse, pale, word pale was, word pale was translated wrong. The correct word is green, not pale. There are three other different places in the in the in the New Testament where the word that the word pale was appears and it was related to the green car of grass. So actually the grass, the green car of grass is describe, describing the green car of this world. <clears throat> uh, we'll uh, return to the explanation of the green car, but yet before that I would like to mention that <clears throat> it was the it was the fourth beast. And when he had opened the fourth seal, it was the fourth beast that say said, Come and see. And uh, in Revelation chapter four Verse 7, we see that those beasts are numbered. The first beast was like a lion, the first beast is a lion, the second like a calf, the third a man, and the fourth beast was like the flying eagle. Fourth beast is flying eagle. So we return here and see that. Uh, so we call heard voice of the fourth beast. So he said, the voice of the flying eagle say, come and see. The fourth, so it was, the fourth beast is flying eagle and the flying eagle represents a swift destroyer, which is in harmony with the text, the following text, because the following text is described, referring to all kinds of great destructions. The power was given unto him Onto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword. 
Now the returning to the green, it is to the green car of horse. It is not pale horse. It is green horse. And <clears throat> really, any any Bible student who, who does not believe me, go ahead and use the uh, James Strong exhaustive concordance to the Bible, King James Version Bible, and check that word. Pear, if it is pear or green, you will see for yourself. Three other times it was appear in in is clearly. You find the evidence that the, the the translation was wrong. It is a green horse, green as green as as grass. Now the question is, what's the meaning of that? Okay, so let's say that the translation was done correctly, green. And what different does it make? That is green and not it is not pale but it's green it makes great difference either it is it, it, because it describes the green car of our horses look at that this is the remember the the horse represent as a spiritual meaning represents power and energy that has been used mainly for transportation of people equipment in the past for many only during the last 150 years or oh, actually 120 years that had the horses have been replaced by by trucks cars and tanks and even helicopters and and airplanes to transport goods and uh, the people here in armed forces you see for yourself you have those tanks are painted green. Why are they painted green? They represent those tanks here, they represent the green horse, but why are they painted green? As grass, you see grass surrounding, the landscape is covered with grass, and the tanks are more or less painted of the same color as grass. Why? For camouflage. <clears throat> So that the, the green car of, of tanks or, or trucks are um, blended together with the grass and then make the, the, the uh, trucks or tanks are rather in, less visible to the enemy. So it's difficult for enemy to shoot at the, uh, at the uh, objective, at the tank, if it is blended together with the grass. It's a, it's a, there is a practical reason why the trucks, the, the tanks are painted green and also soldiers combat uniforms are also green. Uh, okay, so you have this green horses running here huh, to the battle. Those are the contemporary green horses. See, in the, in the past history, let's say 300, 400 years, it would be the real physical horses carrying soldiers on the horsebacks and carrying the transporting the war equipment. Now they're replaced by tanks. Uh, check here, I'll go here. There you have soldiers dressed in green uniforms. Soldiers also, uh, armed forces in uniform, green uniform, represent that green horse. Horse represent power, energy of armed forces. Worldwide, in every country, all these uh, combat uniforms of the soldiers are, are, are green. Okay, there you have it. I think we have enough evidence. You know, in every country, it's a big, this, the reason is the same, camouflage. It's difficult to shoot at the soldier in green uniform, which is laying on the green grass, because it's difficult to see, difficult to see, difficult to shoot at him. Practical reason. And this, you see, you have tanks of the same color as green uniforms of the soldiers. It is everything is harmony. And it represents the reality, reality of life. And the, we are not talking here fantasies. We are not talking uh, illusions. We are talking reality here. 
so uh, let's return let's go here for a moment where are we so let's return to the text uh, and uh, and I look and behold a pale, a pale horse now it is we know it's a ho green horse and it makes great sense why green horse green our forces uh, in the green uniforms and his name that said on him was death that's devil satan and hell, devil represents the hell. And power was given to them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword. Not necessarily with the physical sword, with the sword that was. In those days, remember the book of Revelation was written in year, uh, 2000 years ago, or 2020 years ago. Today is January 2021 already. Um, well, actually, it was the book of Revelation was written in uh, is believed to be written in AD 95, so about 2000 years ago. So, in those days, they were fighting wars with the sword, but today, as you see, they are thanking uh, the death, uh, uh, they're fighting those wars with what with rockets, with tanks. Uh, bombs and so they were killed with they were killing with the sword but in the contemporary weapons or rockets guns machine guns and with the hunger and with the dead and with the beasts of the earth so what else can should we say here we'll say here at the end that this Great destruction will intensify, intensify, intensify in uh, at the in the great at the time of great tribulation, which I believe it will happen after the millennium. During the millennium, the temple of the Lord will be built. At the beginning, at the first resurrection, at the beginning of the one thousand years, we're going to have great uh, some kind of uh, also great tribulation. There's not any. No need to believe there is just one great tribulation. The people who were living during Second World War and were oppressed and sent to concentration camps, from their point of view, that was a great tribulation. At the beginning of the 1,000 years, when the first resurrection there will be direct intervention from God, described by the first four angels, there will be great, great destruction on the, on the earth. From the point of view of these people who will be destroyed, that will be great tribulation. But for true believers, well, and I, I believe the true believer will live during, during time of great tribulation, their life will be safe, but from their point of view, that will be great tribulation, through which they will have to uh, live, unfortunately. <clears throat> anyway, the destructive, the destruction of the green horse of our forces will be intensified and really great. Uh, this is Revelation uh, chapter 9, during Great Tribulation, Revelation chapter 9, and it was says, And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for hour and day and month, third part of the men. Now these are different four angels than they are described <laughs> in other, the previous chapters. The book of Revelation is very complex. It, it requires not only intelligence, but a lot of meditation, comparing scriptures, scriptures. Uh, and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, and I heard the number of them, and saw the horsemen and the vision, and that said, and those that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of Jason and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of the lions, and of the mouths of fire and smoke and brimstone. By these three was the third part of the men killed by fire, by smoke, and by brimstone, which issued out of the mouth. For their mouth, but their power is in their mouth and in their tails, for they Tails were like unto serpents, and had 
at and with them they do hurt. The description of this uh, horses here and uh, and the weapons it might they might be symbolic or they might be real because and why not does not God have the power to create such a creatures as they describe in Revelation nine chapter verse fifteen to nineteen yes they could be real they could be real uh, that kind of great creatures. With all that kind of destructive real power as it is described.